so this is Miss Collins. I put up a video before, and it was a video that showed um, my son wrapped up in his bed and everything because he was cold and him was reaching for something. I was like, Jacob, what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, he got up shortly after that video because he heard me talking. <laughs> And he said, you came in my room. I said, yeah. I said, because I thought you was reaching for your pump and you, you needed just. He's like, no, I wasn't reaching for no pump. He said, no, I was having a dream. I said, you play that PS4 game too much. I said, you, you, you play that stuff too much. I said, you're too into it. I was like, he was like, I can handle my. He was telling me he can handle his. I can handle myself, my baby. I said, because I don't want people to think like, oh, you know. You reach in and you, you, I didn't, cause honey, I don't play that. I don't, I don't play that. I knew my son was okay. He went right back to sleep and he was okay. Nevertheless, um, I also want to show you guys, I'm not going to put down my camera. This is the temperature. This is a thermometer in my bedroom. You guys can see that. And that is the gauge. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. Can y'all see that? Okay. Yeah. So, shortly after I made the first video, I went back into my son's room. This is his room. And. I put another comforter on his bed. So he has two. He has a fleece and he has another comforter. He has his spacer and he has another spacer. Okay. The other video I made, being like, <laughs> he was embarrassed. He's like, Mommy, don't post that video, don't post it. I was like, <laughs> so I had to take it off, but I'm making this one. <laughs> take you back into the living room area and paperwork. I contact the borough. These are my tickets that I put in for the no heat. See the date that I put them in? And the time? No heat. No heat. See the date? Call again. Time, no heat. I call 311 at this time on this date. There's ticket number. See that? The 311 gave me that. I called again. Give me the ticket number. First ticket number that I put in when I called the 707 number. I said, what happened to the first ticket that I put in? They said it was closed out. I said, they closed out the first ticket that I put in for heat? They said, yes. What was the comment? What was the reason they closed it out? They said that the resident called the act for it to be canceled. Really? So let me understand something. I put in a ticket because it's freezing cold in here and I have to bundle my child up with two comforters. Two comforters. And um, 
I called multiple times as you guys saw and I called 311 why would I call to cancel any tickets for heat why would I do that so that's another one of you guys alibis you got the resident is not home when the resident is sitting right there and y'all don't even knock or nothing or even call resident is not home then you have what resident won't allow us access resident didn't allow you access when you never came you never showed up you didn't allow yourself access because you didn't show up and now you got the resident called to cancel what else you got what else do you have that we don't know about? So you hold back my heat. So what is the reason behind that? So opposed to being... Opposed to remediating, remedying the situation, you retaliating? <laughs> that's, re that's your retaliation. Are you being retaliatory? Let me tell you something. Don't try to stigmatize me, categorize me, or ostracize me. Don't t intimidate me. Don't throw intimidation stones at me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Because for everything that you do, I am videoing it. You show That thermometer was in my bedroom. You want to see it again? Do you want to? Better yet, I'm going to show you what the temperature is. I'm going to show you what the temperature is. You see this? You see this date? That's the date. And that's the temperature. You see this date? I don't know if you guys can see it. But this is the date. <laughs> and this is the temperature. According to your 707 staff, the call center, they said it has to be below 60 degrees. They said it's changed. At first it was below, it has to be below 55 degrees. And now it's saying that it has to be below 60. That says 56 degrees. I showed you tickets that I put in. I showed you 311. And I filed a complaint with the chair. Yes, I did. So, why aren't residents speaking out? Why aren't they speaking out? Why are the residents not speaking out? Well, maybe we need to find out why. Why I don't see nice videos on this, this, what you call the social media websites of apartment tours. Why I don't see residents making nice videos of, oh, this is my apartment tour. And come on in. Why I don't see any of that? From you, New City Housing Authority, NYCHA, whatever. Why I don't see them? I see them doing the apartment tours with other properties. And I'm making those property managers or landlords look really good. <laughs> because when you have a resident who puts on social media or YouTube or whatever, your property, and they're happy, and they're smiling, and they're just feeling good, it makes them look good. <laughs> it makes the landlord or the, the property owner of that resident look good. I see nothing but negative coming for y'all. <laughs> nothing but negative. And I'm not I'm not saying that I want to see. No, don't show me no apartment tour of the newly developed ones. Don't show me that. I don't want to see that. We don't want to see that. Because you will, trust me, you will get a bunch of negative clapbacks. Nobody wants to see that. We want to see a resident who's been in their apartment for over 30 years or 20 something years living in New York City, Thirty, and they are smiling ear to ear and they're happy to do an apartment tour. 
We don't want to see that. Because if you do this video tour of these newly developed apartments, whatever, it's like rubbing it in our faces. You're going to, it's just like you're rubbing it in our faces. And nobody's not going to, you're going to get a, you might get a couple of thumbs down. <laughs> I see you got this tour set up for what, the six, the 26th? Or the 16th, something like that? Hmm. Well, while you're making your tour, make your tour over here to put some heat in. Here. <laughs> okay? And where that tour is concerned, you're going to hear something from me. I'm going to clap back. <laughs> I need heat. You want the ticket numbers? They're right here. You got the ticket numbers right there. Okay? You got the, what you need. What else you need? What? What you need? You need the 311 number? This is the 311 number. Why was this one closed? Nobody didn't call and cancel that. Here's the 311 number. You need the 311 number? There's that. There it is. Okay? You started this. Nobody didn't hold back any rent from you. Nobody didn't do any of that to you. Not in this apartment. Not here. So that's what, when people pay their rent properly and in a timely fashion, this is what you do? You throw mold in their face and asbestos and you damage their kids and you put their kids on a fatal list? On some, something that could be fatal to them? You, you, you allow things like, what? I could have been I could have been one of your best tenants. You could have gotten such great reviews just by me, just through me. Just through me. You could have gotten the best of the best. Cause I never gave you problems. You just gave me problems from day one because I was different than the rest of your residents in here. Because I don't sit out there and I don't smoke and drink and drug and do crack. And all that, all the crazy crap. I don't do that. So you have a problem with me. Because I'm different. Because I have a education, college education. You got a problem with me? That's why? Because I speak differently? I don't talk with a twang or a slang? So you throw stones at me? Okay, well then send me to where they talk with the tang, the twang, and the slang. Send me, send me to where they don't talk with the, the tang, the twang, or the slang. Send me over there where I fit in. Send me there. Let me go there. Send me where they speak proper. Where they're different. Where I fit in. I don't care what you want to say. You know what? I'm <laughs> That's right. You separate. You do separate. You separate. And I'm not going to say how because you know. And everybody else who's watching this video knows. You guys separate people. You separate. <laughs> That's discrimination. Yeah, it is. Anyway, I need heat. <laughs> I need heat. And if those people down at that management office, 575 Howard Avenue, let them twist my file and botch. Let them botch my file up, my paperwork. Twist it up. And I'll expose that too. And who's responsible for that? I will blow the lid. Trust me. I will blow the lid off for this. Trust me. I will blow, I will set such a legal stench. Trust me, you better believe it. Need heat. Where's the heat? Where is the warmth? My son is going to come from school in the cold. He got up in the cold, got dressed in the cold, left to go out into the cold, and is going to come back into the cold. You attack my child. You think that's okay? It's not okay. Absolutely not. 